Hey guys, Duffy here. Um, I have to make a super quick update about Freddy. Uh, I had made one earlier, but uh, there was an issue transferring it from my phone to my computer, so I have to make another one. Um, Alright, so as you can see, Freddy has moved into his new cage. Uh, he absolutely loves it in here. Uh, he was exploring around. Uh, he had a lovely bowel movement um, after several days of not having one. Um, and so he's extremely happy. He adjusted super, super well. Um, he didn't go through any stress at all. I put him in there. He was kind of nervous, sticking around to his decor. And then I threw some super worms in there, and he confident it right up. So I'm going to get him out of his cage and do some better lighting so we can get a look at his color. I'm going to be doing a little color montage so you can see uh, how his color has changed um, since I've had him. All the different changes he's gone through. So let me get him here. Alright, so here we go. And as you can see, his head is a very, very nice citrus color. Try to adjust the focus here. There we go. He's got a very nice citrus yellow head with some orange highlights here by his ear. As you go down, he's got a nice yellowish stripe down his back. Uh, his darkest colors are his orange circles here. I don't know if there's a name for those. They're nice dark rusty orange with some angel wings coming off of there. I have some nice lighter orange with some white accents throughout, which is really, really nice. Of course, he's still got his beautiful blue bars. Staying very nice. They're a little diminished uh, closer to the tail and the back legs, but they're still very prominent up front here. Of course, his shoulder pads are also blue because he's a hypo. Uh, his color has been developing nicely over the years. He started out pretty pretty dull. He was kind of a yellowish color. Um, it didn't really matter to me because uh, the breeder that I got him from was saying that he and this other dragon that he showed me um, had the best chance of becoming a whiter dragon because their mother was a leucistic dragon. So I bought Freddy thinking that he would become a white dragon to begin with. Uh, and so the color didn't really matter because I thought he was going to wash out. But as it turned out, he turned into a beautiful, beautiful rainbow dragon. And I couldn't be happier with my baby. He is so gorgeous and I love him so much. I wouldn't replace him for a Zero or a Whip Blitz any day. I think rainbows are super cool. So, yeah, this has to be quick because it is Freddy's bedtime. And he just ate a bunch of roaches for a roach video I'm working on. So he has to go and digest a little bit more. But I hope you enjoyed this video on his color. Uh, as you can see, he's looking really, really nice. He's kind of orange over here. If I move him back into the nice LED light, you can see his colors again. Really, really gorgeous. I can't wait for him to go into shed. His head, legs, and tail have all gone into shed, but his back has not yet. Um, so I'm kind of waiting for that to happen. Yeah, so this has been Freddy's update. He's in his new cage. He's looking gorgeous. And everything is just going great. Um, real quick, uh, there's probably going to be another uh, animal added to the family. Most likely a bearded dragon, um, because it's what my little brother wants to get. He's very interested in Freddy and wants to get a dragon of his own. Um, we have a specific one picked out. All we have to do is get the thumbs up from my mom, and then we'll buy the dragon. And I'll be sure to let you guys know step by step of the way what's going on. So this has been Freddy's Update, plus a little sneak peek at what might be happening in the future. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe for more videos.